let's look at question number 27 in this primary math test. Um, how many ways can three different numbers be selected from numbers 1 to 12 so that their sum can be divided by 3? Okay, so here's one that's not so scary because it seems like you only have 12 numbers and you're choosing three of them. Um, you, can tr you can, there's only so many possibilities and the, then the, the trick is to do it in an in a efficient way. Um, yeah, so for this one, I think it's nice to consider the numbers 1 to 12 as grouped by their remainders when you divide by 3. Um, so, let me say this. You have, so you have the numbers 1, 2, 3, okay. And then I've grouped 4 with 1 because they both have a remainder 1 when you divide by 12. 5 with 2, 6 there, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So these all have remainders 1 remainder 2 and this is remainder 3 or 0 okay so if you want the sum to be divided by 3 okay you could pick three things from each from from just one of the columns because then the remainders will just be times by 3 So you get remainder three, remainder six, or still remainder zero. Okay, so that'll work. But if you go from one to the other, you can't have. So you can't have two from the same one. See, because if you have two from the same one, these two will be divisible by three. But then one more, it won't be divisible by three. If you have two from here, um, you know, the remainder will be four. You can't get to remain to zero with one or zero okay and if you come from two here the remainder will be two for the sum of these two numbers and you can't make it divisible by three with remainder zero and remainder two so basically you can either pick all of them from the same column or you have to pick one from each column and if you do that um, you know, there's four ways to pick three numbers from four numbers because it's the same as the four ways of leaving out the fourth number. So from the same column, there's 12 ways. Four plus four plus four. If you pick them from different columns, well, there's four numbers to choose from for each column and they're independent. So it is 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64, then the total will be 76, oh I wrote that 6.8, okay cool.